So we're about to move on to the next step of our roof. We've already got all of our trusses in place. They're fastened down with our hurricane straps. Uh, we've also got our ends on, so we're ready to lay down some sheeting. Now, uh, we haven't put our, our paneling up yet on either of the two sides. We're gonna go ahead and get some cover on the, uh, on the tiny house, just in case some weather does decide to come up in the next few days. So what we're using right here is, uh, this is some Smart Side with Silver Tech for roofing, made by LP Building Materials. Now, one thing you'll notice about this material, it's just like your standard roof sheathing, except there's no logo. So it's designed for exterior purposes. It's designed to withstand outdoor elements. And the one cool feature about it is on the flip side, you'll see silver tech. Now that silver acts as a radiant barrier. So inside your structure, you've got that nice coating of radiant barrier to help with insulation, as well as to brighten up the inside of the room should you choose not to add any sort of, uh, any other kind of, uh, of ceiling, you know, to your studs or, or rather to your trusses. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to put this up. A little bit heavy for each panel, but that's all right because we're probably gonna get some help with the tractor bucket and get that up to the top and uh, go ahead and install that. So we'll be back and show you what it looks like. The tractor ended up not being available, so we ended up having to hoist each of these 4x8 sheets up by hand. If you end up having to do this yourself, please be careful of your back, make sure you're well supported, and that you're lifting from the knees and not from the back. Well, behind me you can see the tiny house. You can see where we're at right now. We've got quite a bit of it done, and uh, we're pretty much on the, uh, the final process of adding on the roofing. We're using, of course, the LP SmartSide ProStruct roofing with SilverTech, which we talked a little bit about uh, with uh, those components of no logo on the top uh, and then SilverTech coating on the inside so that it acts as a radiant barrier for your roof sheathing. Um, now, I must admit that the full 4x8 sheets were a little bit heavy for us to handle, just two of us, getting them to the top of the roof, but that's okay. It all worked out. Um, we managed to get those up and, and get them nailed on and secured just fine. Uh, and so then we had to cut a couple more pieces for the ends and now we're doing just the final strip which are the two areas that cover our ridge board. So we're going to go ahead and finish that and uh, then we'll have the roofing done which will allow us to move on to the next thing which of course will be adding the metal roof. So we've used all the components of our LP building materials that our wonderful sponsor provided to us and so far so good. We are very pleased with the results and we hope that you've enjoyed watching how we've used this great material to build our tiny house. So here we are, uh, completed project. Actually, no, it's, it's not a completed project. Uh, we still have a door to add and we still have some paneling to put on, but we have a finished roof. Well, not exactly. Actually, we have a sheathed roof, which is why it is, uh, why it's so shady in here, I guess. But uh, it looks great. Everything's matching up really nicely. Uh, we're set to have the shingle, uh, to have the metal put on in about uh, about 10 or 11 days now, so we're really excited for that. We need to, like I said, add the door and then finish putting up the paneling in the next day or two, and we will be 100% dried in. So uh, it's a really exciting time here at Tiny Revolution, and uh, we just thank you for joining us for yet another project. How to sheath your tiny house roof.